What is up guys, it's your boy JR Vlogs here in today's video. We uh, got a little something special for you guys. Uh, I've had it for a while. Uh, I've seen other people do it, YouTubers and stuff, you know. But I bought mine probably four months ago. I just never got around to doing it because I haven't had much time. But that is bed liner for my 2017 Chevy Silverado. It's called Raptor Liner. Uh, I have seen some YouTubers do it. Uh, but that's about it. So we're going to be diving into it head first. Uh, so we're going to sand my bed. I went and bought some 80 grit sandpaper, a block, and then some uh, discs, a whole bunch of them. And we'll sand it. And then uh, future videos, I got some ideas involving some of this stuff, if you know what that is. And uh, But yeah, that's about it. So we're going to run in the Walmart real quick. We're going to buy some tape and a tarp to be able to spray it on my truck with so I don't have to roll it. And uh, we'll get to it. So I'll see you when we get out of Walmart. And then a couple other stuff for some other videos, but you have to stick around for those. Uh, so let's get going over to the truck. We'll start sanding it, and then we'll start spraying on some uh, bed liner. So see you over there. All right, guys. So we got the whole truck bed all cleaned up. Starting to do some taping over there, but uh, it's all wet because we washed it. So we're gonna take the air gun, blow it out. So let's get to it. All right, guys. Sorry for the noise. Got the heater on, but. Uh, Started getting done on sanding on this side. We got Craftsman, the 120 on it, and uh, we're just gonna scuff it up. I don't really want it to be down in the metal. Just kind of want to scuff the clear coat so it sticks. So we'll just scuff up the whole thing. Got most of it taped off. Uh, had to go buy another roll. So this whole side's pretty much taped off. Besides the front doors, and this side over here's got to be finished. Getting taped off, and uh, but we're gonna sand it real quick because. I already got all everything I want taped off. Got the lines perfect. So you can pretty much choose. You could do this whole thing, or you can only do some of it. I want it to stop right there, so we'll finish taping that side off. Up in there, I kinda, I'm debating either making it a straight line or filling underneath in there in, but we'll figure that out. But everything else is pretty much done on taping. Got this part, I want it to go over the lip like that. So I made it even all the way down. Uh, that's about it. So we're gonna get to sanding. I might put you guys on a time lapse. So let's get into it. That's kind of a cool finish, if you ask me. Spray some clear coat on it and make yourself a little rustic looking bed. But uh, we got that much more to go until it's done, pretty much. All the inside in here and everything, you can get the best you can. But with the sander like this, it's not like I can't really get in there. Uh, I'm not too worried about it though. My bed's pretty scraped up anyway. But, uh, yep. So, tailgate's done. It's ready to be sprayed. Uh, as far as everything goes, I undid the wires and I got my line going. Still need to tape more off. But, got my line going. Runs around here. Not perfect, but if I wanted it perfect, I would have had it done. So, uh, I think it'll be good enough. Got everything good. So, Let's get to doing the bed, and uh, let's get that done. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we got the whole thing sanded. As you can tell, didn't miss a spot. So, got the whole thing sanded, took in everything. We're gonna take a blow gun and blow it off, and uh, then we'll get to painting. So, uh, I think I'll probably end up using the blow gun that comes with the kit. If you guys don't have any extra blow guns at home, you probably just use this. You give it a try. Just blow it off, you know. And this is what the can goes on. And you just we'll paint it. So all we got left, spray it off, tape everything that's left, and uh, then we'll get to it. I might make it go up to the ceilings. I don't know yet. I guess we'll figure it out. So get right into it. Okie dokie, guys. So we got uh, this kit sitting right here. It's called uh, Raptor Liner. We're waiting on somebody to come film so we can spray this real quick. It's all prepped, ready to go. Uh, I gotta squat down a little bit to fit the frame. But uh, got it all sanded and everything. And uh, we'll open up this box. I bought this box about probably four months ago from AutoZone. Uh, it's different than what you get on Amazon. You can get the one on Amazon for like $100. This was, I think, $140. Uh, comes with rollers and everything, but we'll open it up. The box is a little damaged, but it's okay. So it comes with four of these Raptor liner bottles. And uh, these Raptor liner bottles, you either pour in this tray that it comes with, right here, and they give you these uh, rollers with it. Put some texture in them. 
and uh, or you can spray it. Now uh, AutoZone, you have to buy the spray gun separate. It's like, I think $20, so definitely get it on Amazon if you're gonna go get it. But uh, here's a spray gun. This just screws on here, and you can just spray away. So, we're not gonna be using the rollers, but I mean, if you ever have to touch it up, it's be a good, good bet. So, uh, we got four bottles of these. I think you can get a kit with eight bottles on Amazon, but you gotta order it, you know, if you have a long bed or anything, but my bed's a short bed, so we should be good, but four bottles of those. I think we'll go through all of them. And then we got the hardener. Comes in a bottle like this and a mixing cup. And you'll just mix the hardener, pour it in the bottle, and you'll be good to go and you just spray it. So it's pretty simple. That's all that's in the box. So we'll get that out of the way. And uh, we're gonna wait for somebody to come and help us film because we wanna make some good content. But anyways, future videos, uh, we're gonna be definitely putting out some content. If you guys haven't already looked at the headlights that we got put on my 2017 Chevy Silverado, which we're working on right now, they are gonna be the video before this one. And there's a discount code JRVlogs10. It'll get you some money off of them, along with the Black Friday sale if you go get them right now. So, go do that. If you haven't already, go watch that video. I'll put a card right here. And uh, we're gonna get this sprayed. So. Five hours later. So we got our first coat on. It's looking pretty good. Couldn't have enough to get the tailgate, so we're gonna mix up another bottle real quick and finish spraying what we can. So, show you guys how we mix up these bottles if you don't know. Hardener that they give you. And you just pull out the cap on it. And if you're wondering how much to put in there, you just fill the eight fluid ounces. So you fill it right up. Right there. And then you pour that inside there. So I'll put the cap back on this. Push that down. Open this up. There's no thing, it's just open, so just take this, pour it in. Without making a mess like I am. <laughs> And you want to shake it for two minutes. So we'll get to shaking and we'll start spraying and we'll show you guys in. All right guys, so uh, we waited an hour and uh, let the second coat here. This is what it looks like. Looks really good. There's some spots I sprayed at last that are a little darker that I hope they will go away. Put some ramps up there. So they kind of got a little redneck so I could get up there and spray from the top. But uh, Yep, we just got a little more spray over here and on that side. We'll probably put one more coat on across the whole thing and see how it looks. So, get back to you after we're done spraying. Okie dokie, guys. So, I didn't show you guys much. Sorry about that. Uh, it's hard to film and do this all at the same time. I'm not used to filming that much. So, uh, we're getting better. Definitely wouldn't be where we're at without all you guys' help. Thanks for the support. Thanks for everything. Um, and we are where we are. So, uh, we put Raptor Liner in my 2017 Chevy Silverado. Sanded the whole truck bed with 120. I was gonna use 80, but it was just tearing it up way too much. So we went to 120, scuffed the whole entire truck bed, which you wanna do, you want the whole thing to be scuffed so the uh, Raptor liner will stick to it. Because if you're gonna be putting a lot of stuff in your bed or using it for work, I'm kinda just using it for looks and plus because my whole bed was beat up. But it's not the thickest stuff out there, so if you're using it for thickness and stuff like that, then you would probably wanna spray more coats on it. I probably used about Three bottles, it's not really that thick. Uh, I could have went a lot thicker, but I just didn't. Uh, also, the video before this video was a headlight video from Headlight Resolutions. You can go look at that video, you use JR Vlogs 10, you get 10% off your whole order. Uh, and uh, yeah, the headlights are sweet. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. I'll leave a card up here. Uh, we took pictures before the truck. I don't know if we took a video of it, but we definitely took pictures. And uh, I haven't showed you guys the truck bed yet, but it looks really good. So I definitely recommend it. And uh, yeah, if I show you guys this, before we do, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna keep these videos coming. I hope you guys are enjoying. Leave in the comment section below if there's anything you guys want me to change, anything you want me to do better. Uh, let's get into it. Alright guys, so up here it's still drying a little bit, 
uh, if it stays like that uneven, because there was some dull spots there, if it stays on uneven, I'll probably put another coat on it, but it does need to cure a little bit more. It's pretty hard stuff though. It's not mushy or anything like that. Um, but if it stays like that, I'll definitely put another coat on it. So, we got the whole sides done, all that done. Over here, I did a little something different than most people do. Most of them will cover this lip in here. If it'll focus, give it a second. Most people will cover this lip. I actually put tape up, if you know what I mean, and just sprayed on into the lip, so we got that nice look. Honestly, I think it looks really, really good all the way down. If you look, step back and look at it. But uh, yes, looks awesome. So definitely love the look of this. And this is Raptor Liner. It took me about five hours to spray on there. It was my first time ever doing it. Definitely looks good, everything on it looks good. So, definitely impressed with the way it turned out. If you guys uh, want to check out any of my other videos, definitely feel free. I have a lot of videos coming up that you're not going to want to miss out. Uh, we do have a couple other vehicles we can work on, so those will definitely be coming up. And uh, definitely want to grow the channel. So, I will see you in a future video. Take it easy. Peace.